Hello, Americans. And other friends and subscribers around the world. Look at you, man. I'm back down here to the uh, one of the homesteads where I found right here is where I found that piece of pottery and I don't know what else we found. But as you just seen, I got my AT Max, dude. I am so excited. Kevin's is supposed to be here Wednesday, so we'll both have AT Maxes. And then we're keeping both our aces, be able to have other people go out and stuff with us. So. Yeah, man, getting ready to uh, oh, look at our skull right there. Mm. Some deer skull or something. Anyway, getting ready to try out this AT Max, so we'll let's see how it goes here. Tie this bad boy up. And we're going to. Ground balance that mother. Go to frequencies. Let's go to four. Got a lot to learn, man. I've been watching, read, reading books and watching videos. So we'll see how it goes. We'll check in. Bit. All right, man. First real dig with the AT Max. You see, man, a big old piece of iron right there. So we're going to dig it out using the. AT is definitely a, definitely a whole different, there's more there, yeah I got something, I don't know, definitely rusty, rusty rusty, pretty good size, and before this I was just grabbing out nails, I almost pulled off of this, I'm like dude I don't know what I'm doing here. Actually, let's see. Remember, it's pretty good. Pretty good size, man. Yeah. Here, here. Looks like something hinged there. Man, it's pretty massive right there. Look, it goes back over here. So I think we're gonna take this part out here. See what we can get. So many nails, man, so there's a lot of, a lot of iron, but when you're really cutting rusty gold, you're gonna dig a lot of nails, man. So I wanna know everything that's underneath there. Whatever this thing is, it's big. Here it is. Let's see what we got. What we got? Oh. Well, well, looky there. It's one of those. This is part of an old stove. I know what that looks like. I think that is an old camper uh, step. That's what I think that. I guess you can't even see it. Sorry, man. I think that's an old camper step. Is what I think that might be. I don't know, we'll pile that up over. I dug it, so I'll haul it. Now I got my helpers. Hey boys, dig that back here, boy and girl. Let's dig that right back in there. I hope there's some more of it. No, it's rocks. Let's see what else we got in there, man. Yeah, that was it, man. Dude, it was ringing me all over. I thought that I just didn't know what I was doing with that new detector so let's fill in this hole and see what else we can find find anything i got this i think it might be a step off an old camper maybe it's hinged i'm not really sure what it is it's big all right next target about two feet from the last target this one's ringing from about here to here. I can see definitely a piece of, a piece of angle iron or something right there. That might be sitting right there. My last hole's right there, two feet. Uh, we'll make it fire. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we have today. Man, 
Ain't gold, I'll tell you that. Might be rusty gold, though. Remember, huh. it's big, man. It ain't even budging, dude. It's a piece of iron. Piece of iron, see that there? You gonna chunk of iron going down in there? Oh, I think it's something else down there. Why oh, did I don't know if I'm gonna take the time to dig that thing out or not, man? I'm a good saw. Way over there. I should have been doing well by now. See it now. Big old piece of... Big old piece of something. I'm about to bury it, but now this hadn't been dug. Well, if I hadn't just dug that thing up right there, dude, it almost looks, you know, it could be a, could be an implement. Look at that thing there, it's hinged. It's make a great knife if I could get this thing out, but I think it's hooked to something. Give it a couple more shovels, and if not, I think I'm gonna put it back for all eternity. Crazy. You can try that AT if you want. While I'm doing this. What's that? So you can try that AT if you want. I'll try it. And I thought I was just, I was like, oh crap, man. Find a nail, nail, nail. I'm like, dude, I don't think I know what I'm doing. Uh -oh. I almost got this. I got it. <laughs> just a piece of flat bar with a hook on it man obviously that was designed to catch something but we'll haul that out of here and i'll end up making a idaho relic knife out of it haul it up over there that was a pretty good home man that uh from old ad max is going a lot deeper which i like that Trusty nail. What's up, girl? Oh, my. okay. You notice with the AT Max, I got a bigger shovel. Kevin just ordered a another shovel to be ready, and then well, a bigger one. I wouldn't mind get one of those T-handle ones, man. I'm looking at one. I got some price it. Darn cool. Let's see. We got this old pasture thing, man. You can do that. Mostly dirt. You just kind of disturbing it. Of course. 
First hole, my first find was this hole. That's my second hole. Kevin comes back a little bit, and there's another. Uh, holy crap, that's a bunch of iron shit. I mean, stuff. This whole area, dude, I was just dinging all the way across this. And then I just took the one that sounded the best. All right, man. So uh, I think I'm gonna actually move out of this section. I am gonna haul that junk out when we go but dude i think that maybe it's an old trailer or something was here there's a piece of metal fender or something right there yeah so what i think has happened is this was an old uh do you know for sure this was an old homestead man i found that i'm gonna go over and look for more pottery but they ended up pushing this whole uh full homestead down in here and man it's just strung out this whole you know at least an acre so I'm going to camouflage my area not that it uh it's all pretty dirty but if you do this nobody ever even knows you're there man never even know you're there a little little camouflage So we got a good reading right here, man. I was whacking pretty good, which is kind of a bummer, but very cool. Some very old uh, pottery, man, old. I ended up breaking this piece. Where's the break? But I ended up hitting the whole dang thing there. So that's kind of a bummer. So I'm gonna try to be a little more gentle right here, but we're getting a dang, oh, look at it, it's a whole bowl, or, or is that a root? Same color as Ozzy, but over there. Oh, look at that. What we got? Oh, my lord. What is it? It almost looks like a dang shotgun. Well, it does kind of look like a slider. I think it's brass. Pinhole there. <laughs> First of all, it looks like a barrel of a shotgun, too, like a choke. But I think it, it might, I mean, like, I don't know, air nozzle with a clip. Brass. Pretty cool. Push that hole again, man. Let's see if that was it. Over there. Go up there. You got more. I do, I think for the Good one there? Yeah. Oh, I need to get a good one. Pretty good hole here. Got a. I don't know what I got. <laughs> so, something rusty. Pretty big. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Hey, it's an old foot off of. Hey. Full foot off a stove or something. That's pretty cool. Pretty happy about that one. I'd like to find the whole thing, but I'd say that's off an old, uh, old wood stove. 
clean that thing up. That's kind of cool. A little decoration there. Sweet. I love it. I know history, baby. Just trying to make sure, make sure the whole stove ain't in here. Got more. Oh, that's no. You got something else over here, huh? Oh, nails. I always gotta have a couple of them to go along with everything. <laughs> Read that thing. Oh, I think I'm gonna run my fine so far up to the van. Those big iron pieces, my leg. Feed my dogs. Then we'll come back down once we're up to fine. I'm gonna check this out real quick, too. What'd you find, boy? If you didn't do any good? No. Dang it. You're gonna blame it all on the AT, ain't you? <laughs> You'll have one soon. Well, you know, as soon as I get a ringer, if you, uh, that time I actually used it during it, too. <laughs> Dude, I almost gave up. That was a big hole. 10, 3, 2, 1902. You want to go home? Want to go home and pout? <laughs> Nails. They ain't square ones. <laughs> I found it, man. <laughs> That's what I cut out of my son. Uh, uh, yeah, it did does, down. man. Ended up picking up a, what is it, a two foot Sasquatch. And uh, some more of those. If you go over to our store, oops, our eBay store, we sold a couple, two or three of these. And uh, then I picked up the Sasquatch because they had it. Got it too. So uh, yeah, you'll be able to check it. I haven't decided if I want to get rid of him. I was if I actually want one a seven foot one. So I'm kind of talking to him about that and see if he can give me one. Sir, first, first he's got to give me the price to see if I really want one that bad. Well, thanks for the snacks, Dennis. Yeah, Dennis. Get ready to eat some of them, man. Thank you very much. All right, we're gonna go hit somewhere else. All right, man. We've got a target here with a different spot. Target here. What the heck? down behind these things but got back and this kitty kitty it has got to be 15 20 degrees probably 20 degrees cooler here it's yeah. like the sun might try to break out um this kitty said it's actually been rain snow mix on her since we left we we're down there you seen us man we were in t-shirts man we could have been wearing cutoffs and all that but uh I don't know, i'm pretty happy my son's not as happy with his turnout today and he's a little he, he definitely wants his max. That, uh, I'm totally happy and impressed with that. I still got you know, a long ways to go to dial it all in so I understand everything it's doing. But at least three times deeper or more that the uh, max, the AT max uh, Garrett was going compared to his easy, easy. This thing, man, this I dug this. This was probably what well, you've seen. It's on video, man. If 
came out of you know at least 18 or 20 inches deep well let's just show your stuff first oh all my treasures <laughs> yeah i got uh, three soda cans this one's kind of cool i guess it's got the beaver tail that's never been popped popped somebody lost the beer bottle cap bottle cap uh looks like about eight nails yeah, a fired cartridge and uh LCC 15 on it with like the four directions. I love cartridges. And this, this is probably, I guess, my best find. I think it's a dead bolt or something for an old door or something. Something. I got to show you this rock. I think it's iron ore. It kind of sticks to a magnet and it triggers the pin pointer. You got that magnet right there, Andy? Yeah. It's pretty crazy. I don't know if you can see about it. the pinpointer out here and show it. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Put it in the rock garden. Pretty cool. What'd you find? That's Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> um Alright man, so we got obviously I showed that leg to the old stove or whatever. I do want to go back there and see if uh you know there should be three more there, I would think. So I'm gonna go and We'll end up going back there before I take you along that time. That piece of flat metal. Oh, I got that big chunk of metal in there too. That was just a glob, the hinges and stuff. But a little piece of flat metal make a great. Uh, it actually had some kind of it was some kind of latch thing. Got uh, forged. Yeah, pounded down. Mm -hmm. So I think it's some kind of uh, obviously it's some kind of catch for something. Mm -hmm. so I'm not too sure. And actually, it probably went this way and caught it. I don't know. Take a look. This is the man my find of the day for sure. Man, I'm pretty happy to find actually find a relic out. First time out with the Garrett AT, so that's pretty cool. Then there's a couple of these rings. I didn't I don't know if I showed these on uh I don't know man. Someone's got like a race in there, it's got like a lip, so they could be for uh bearings or something. The one's tapered. Yeah, the one's tapered, and then this other one's got like a gap in it. Not too sure what those. I mean, it could be it could be off an old wagon wheel or something too. Oh, a handful of nails. Handful of nails. This is not a. I gotta clean it up to even see. I have no idea what that is. But uh, and it didn't ring. But when I was digging, I pulled it out. So that was. I have no idea what that chunk of something is. A bunch of nails. Then that old brass, um, it's not a socket. I thought it was like a choke or something off a shotgun at first, but I really, really have no idea. It's got holes it's through it. Amazing. So I really don't have any idea, but it's brass. A little chunk of something there. I'll clean up. Eventually we're going to clean up stuff, you know, we'll show pictures of this stuff afterwards, but after we get rolling with this, and then that old pottery which kind of bummed me out because i ended up breaking that i'm pretty sure off of the other i would have liked to have found that whole piece that's some cool old pottery that was the that was the finds of the day and then like i said stopped by and picked up a couple more of these so you can check find these on the, the uh, ebay store we'll get those listed and all in all man it was a great day we did go by we spent the last well coming back i don't know what i should look at my how far it was to that probably let's see what's that probably 50 miles 50 or 60 miles to that spot it's a 120 mile round trip again <laughs> and then we took off and went down to check out some um some other places that we're working on getting permission and stuff to go on to so obviously if we get the permissions on those we'll take you along but it's a great day out with out with scotch <laughs> now i got his portrait <laughs> Well, other than that, man, do you have anything you wanted to say? Uh, happy digging. He'll be saying, sure will be happy on Wednesday when I have my AT Max. <laughs> <laughs> His comes in Wednesday, it'll be a whole. It'll be great. It'll be fun. I wish we would have got him at the same time, so uh, Amazon sucks. <laughs> you can look back on our videos if you want to see that. The hell's the tech warehouse. Yep. Oh, you bought yours? Oh, no, from our, yeah, from the same. He ended up buying his from the same guy that I bought mine from. Which I think is discount detectors. Discount detectors and stuff, man. Great, great guy, man. Nice as all get up, man. Uh, shipped his out the same day that he paid for it. Mine got here 
pretty dang quick. So if you want information on where, you know, or who we got that from, man, uh, message down below or message us over at uh, Mountain Junkers or Idaho Hillbilly, both at yahoo.com. Other than that, man, good Lord willing, and them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya. Oh, see ya. Oh, you poor buddy. I'll get your money out. Hey, man, what the heck?